Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. <laughs> what comes of those blocks is up to those who wield them. And in every block, there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well-laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. The threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. Second, you just stand there. Jesse, they're falling behind. Actually, you gotta move faster. He's too sick. This is the best we can do. They're not gonna be able to outrun it. Not on foot. We gotta find a way to move faster. We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam. Can we build a portal? If somebody has the right materials. We don't. I haven't seen Obsidian since the end. We'll have to use the next best thing. Everybody, get on! Hang on. I'll take Gabriel. Then I've got Petra. Hold on, this might be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Come on, horses! Whatever you do, don't look back. Ah! I look. Everyone follow me! Jesse, look out! <laughs> this is awesome! It's gaining on us! Pick up the pace! 
so we're all done for! First time on a horse here! Watch out! Sorry. Excellent horsemanship, Jesse. Is that what this is called? freaking made it! Jesse, Petra was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. She was inside the wither. She might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way she's been acting. I'll go talk to her. Hey, how are you feeling? I don't really feel... Like myself? I still can't believe you're even alive. Do you not recognize us? I'm Axel. This is Olivia. We've been friends for a really long time. She doesn't know us. Any of us. But we've known her for... Practically forever. I know. I, I know, but look at her. Jesse, this is awful. You, Jesse. You're the one who rescued me. Tell me, please, what is going on? All I remember was endless blackness. You were caught in the Witherstorm for a long time, Petra. Really? I can't remember any of it. All I know is, I was so scared in there. I thought for sure I was dying. Well, you didn't. You made it back alive. That's more than I can say for some of us. Oh, man. Eligard. For a second, I almost forgot. Are we talking about Eligard? Yeah. Ah, oh, Ellie. Still can't believe the old girl's gone. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone. She was really something else. Even if she did make me feel like the dumbest guy in the world sometimes. Indeed. Ma! Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is, what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? All we managed to do is make things worse. The command block is still out there, Soren. Blast! And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one wither storm to three! Our plan was a total failure! I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Look, our plan didn't work, so we obviously need a new one. 
question is, what do we do? Well, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? Uh, I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? <laughs> you have no idea. That jacket, it looks familiar. Lucas always wears that jacket. No, I saw other people wearing it when I was being thrown from that, that monster. Ah, even thinking about it hurts. Hey, hey, it's okay. Jesse, if what Petra said is true, I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but if they were just trapped in the wither storm... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know, and that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. <gasps> the room. Everything's spinning. You're okay. Easy does it. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. you came along. Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. Look, Soren. I said I needed some space, Jesse. Actually, you said you needed time to think. So, did you think of anything? Not really. I'll let you know if I do. yet? I... I don't know. These little flashes keep coming back to me, but then they float away again. We've been trying to talk to her, but... It's like she's never met us before. I know I've met you before. Before today, I mean. I just don't remember how exactly. I keep seeing a dark alley, but then that turns into trees. You totally came to my rescue in the forest, remember? I think... that pig was there, right? It, Reuben, yes! And he was better at fighting than you, right? Uh, hey, I, I wouldn't say that. Yes, it's working. You're remembering Jesse. Do you remember me, too? No. And yet, I feel like I know all of you, somehow. Maybe it's the way you're dressed. Something's ringing a bell. Of course you know us. We're the Order of the Pig. The Order of the Pig? Wait, didn't we all fight that wither thing together? Yes, we totally did. She remembers it. I remember running to a, a, a temple in the woods and we were going to be safe there. And how did I end up inside that thing? Um... Well, something bad happened there. Look, there were two of you caught in the tractor beam that day, and... Well, I helped Gabriel. The sick guy over there. Oh. Yeah, I think I do remember that. You gotta realize, I thought we needed him. If it was just about who I liked... No, oh, I, I get it. You did what you had to do. All that matters is you're with us now. And that you're still a fighter. The best one I know. So, what do you say? Will you be part of our group again? All right. Count me in. Gravel? No. Dirt? <clears throat> Don't think so. <sighs> Is 
Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. But if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. But I can't leave them alone out there. And what if Petra's wrong? In case you haven't noticed, she's not exactly firing on all cylinders at the moment. I've got to try, Jesse. Otherwise, I just couldn't live with myself. But Lucas... Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. But we are helping them. Saving the world saves them, too. Isn't that just... kind of abstract? No. The number one thing you can do for them is to make sure we defeat those wither storms. I... I guess you got a point. Okay. I'll stay. I just... I just really hope they're all right. Thanks. Jesse. Hello. Just making the rounds. Gabriel, you look awful. Your skin is, like, almost gray. Uh, I feel even worse than I look. You need to rest. You're right, I do. Look, Jesse, wherever you guys go next, give him some time to get his strength back. Problem is, we don't have time. Jesse's right. In fact, it... Might be best if my journey ends here. This cave is safe, easy to defend. It's relatively comfortable. I might even find a shred of peace. Oh, I don't know. This group keeps losing people. <sighs> Nothing had to turn out like this. If the order had just been different, if we'd made smarter choices, Ivor wouldn't have turned into a maniac and... Well, Maybe Yellow Guard would still be alive. Come on, let's let's not talk about the old days. But how can we not? You guys did your best. Whatever happened back then, you can't blame yourselves for it. Things were complicated then, Jesse. But I appreciate you saying that. All this talk of the past has me exhausted. You need to rest. Will he be okay? I don't know. Just get back out there and kick some butt for the both of us. Ugh, <laughs> oh, pig! <laughs> Reuben! So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. Well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. That's what I said, isn't it? Oh, just as you once helped us before. This isn't about the past, it's about the future. Some leftover cobblestone might come in handy. locking the command block away, so only you could use it. Oh, 
Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? What are you doing here, Ivor? Come to lock me in another room? I came to offer my help. Ha! He's been following us. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Sora. That amulet. And the reason you didn't tell us that ages ago? I'm not required to tell you anything. You are when I'm the one he gave the amulet to. What? I... I didn't know. Ugh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right! The Wither's gaze passed over them, and they went wild. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... So... I'll give you this, Ivor. You have provided the basis for an incredible experiment. Enough Endermen working together might destroy a Wither storm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. If... I'm seeing all the pieces correct. Could you coordinate the Endermen somehow? Make them attack all at once? If I know my Endermen, all we'd need to do is get them into the storm's vicinity. In fact, there's probably more than enough of them still in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Ugh. Question is... How to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not for mere mortals. Isn't it obvious? The Fortress is the key! If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Ugh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a formidable. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. Are you saying you know how to destroy the command block? I'm saying there might be a way. What way? An enchanting book. One that could the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it! It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book! Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? How did it find us so quickly? We're not safe anywhere, are we? Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. We need to get out of here right now. Ivor says that if we don't, that thing will... Ivor! It is you! Good to see you too, Magnus. Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. Axel, are you sure? Of course not. 
but you'll have three wither storms chasing you wherever you go. Yeah, if things get too intense, I'll duck into the nether or something. I'm tired of always being the selfish one. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, I want to go with Jesse. That feels like where I belong. Me too. But what do we do about Gabriel? Rest of you go. I'll stay here with Gabe. Are you certain? Yeah, for old time's sake. Besides, I'm not going anywhere with Ivan. My friends are still out there somewhere. And you must do this for them. Guys, we need to go now. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The warrior's whip? You got it! <laughs> I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. Unless you have a mine cart. No, no, we are not there yet. My butt's never been so sore in my life. Not that I remember. Huh. I feel like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Pearl and noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. You're scaring everyone, Soren. And for good reason. The far lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? You asking me? All I can think about is food. Yeah, I'm starving. 
We all are. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. All right, let's just rest for a minute. Everyone's hungry, and we could use a breather. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? Probably take what I have back to the group. A witch's hut. Yeah! We should steer clear of it. Nothing good ever happens when witches are involved. Look, a cake! That's... that's enough to feed everyone! It isn't worth it, Jesse. Witches hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? <laughs> Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. Let's get out of here. Good idea. Guys! Jesse, did you find any food? Actually, yeah, some potatoes, but it'll have to wait. There's a witch nearby. We saw her creeping through the swamp. <laughs> She's here! <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Watch out for her potions. Skeletons? That's a really bad combination. You're right. Her potions combined with their arrows? Oh, we'll all be killed. The Far Lands are just past the swamp. But they've seen us. They'll just follow us. The rest of you go! Hold them off! What? Ivor, no! There's no time to argue. Just head for the corner of the glitch wall! The what wall? Hey, you witch! You're not the only one who can throw a potion! We lost them for... Wow! I see your wow and raise you a... It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'd feel a lot better about going into this crazy wall thingy if I wasn't still hungry. Hey, at least Jesse found those potatoes. That might be the saddest sentence ever uttered. <gasps> Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory, like a monument to chaos itself. This wall? Did Ivor build this? No, of course not. This is a natural phenomenon. The intersection of two of the great walls that form the boundary of our world. Feeling 
kinda overwhelmed right now. You're not the only one. Doesn't seem as scary as I imagined it. Huh? A little fear is healthy sometimes, Jesse. Whatever Ivor's hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I wish Axel was here. He just makes some joke and we'd all feel better about this. I know what you mean. Come on! Thank you. 